Every year on November 27th, uh, we have a candlelight memorial to remember Harvey Milk and George Moscone, who were killed on November 27th, 1978. In 1985, as I was running up and down the Castro with my staple gun and posters reminding people of the march, there was a headline in our local paper saying that a thousand San Franciscans had already died of AIDS. And I remember standing at the corner of Castro and Market and looking around and, and realizing that of those first thousand, almost every one of them had lived and died within six blocks of where I was standing, you know? And it was just a strange feeling to, to know that so much suffering and, and death was occurring but was still invisible. And um, I got very frustrated with that. And so the, the night of the candlelight march, as people were preparing to march, I had big stacks of poster board and magic markers and asked people to write the name of one person they knew who had died. And we carried those with our candles, as we always do to City Hall. And then I had everybody go another two blocks to the federal building, where I'd hidden extension ladders in a shrubbery. And we climbed up uh, with big rolls of tape on our wrists and covered the whole front gray stone facade of this building with this patchwork of posters with these names. And as I looked at that, I thought it looked like some kind of odd quilt. And when I said the word quilt to myself, I thought of my grandma and my great-grandma, and it seemed like such a middle American traditional family values sort of symbol, and I thought what a perfect symbol to attach to this disease that's killing homosexuals and African Americans and IV drug users, and so that was the idea, and uh, everybody told me it was the stupidest thing they'd ever heard of, okay. and um, it was like just so nerve-wracking. I could just see it in my head so clearly how it would look stretched out on the mall, covering the mall. And I could see how it would work as therapy for people who were grieving, as a tool for the media to understand the lives that were behind the statistics, as a, a weapon to shame the government for its inaction. But everybody said it was really dumb. So I always tell young people, you know, if you have an idea that you know in your heart you have to do and everybody tells you it totally sucks, just ignore them and do it.